What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO <laughs> Gaming. We are here with the absolutely amazing Aladdin Genie chess room of the Prison of Elders level 35. I have tutorials of all the Prison of Elders 28, 32, 34, 35 bosses and the full thing over at my channel so if you have not subscribed yet please be sure to beatbox that subscribe button because i will have amazing trials of osiris because if you guys know me and watch my stream which the stream link is also in the description below to watch me play live and play with me live i am a crucible junkie i love competitive pvp and i will assure you guys that my tutorials will give you a better chance of success at the trials of osiris anyways getting straight into it we did this strategy with three hunters guys i didn't want to do it with the titan and warlock just yet because one i've seen it i've heard it i've pretty much lived it just in my imagination of how op it is to be a titan or warlock and this especially a titan i mean titans are the all-stars of prison of elders in my opinion now there's a strategy to come out put down weapons of light time your heavy ammo synth so you already have seven galahorns all three players you dip into weapons you destroy them with seven galahorns then you dip out of weapons um uh you pop a synth you dip into weapons and then you destroy them with seven more Galahorns. Um, so it's 63 total Galahorns. And everyone in your team destroys them in like 30 seconds. Um, it's too easy for me, right? So what we, we're going to show you is how to do this with a hunter. Oh, uh, three hunters, matter of fact. Blade dancers. Uh, and utilize the invisibility perk. And really, really utilize teamwork and timing. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't take teamwork and timing with Titans and Warlocks. Uh, personally, I just think it's this is the hardest way to get this done there's no self res cheese there's no titan purple titty bubble cheese um trust me i have all three characters they're all max leveled out with all the gears um well not yet they'll be 34 soon but i love them all but my hunter is just uh, my absolute favorite now thank you guys so much once again for tuning in i will tell you guys exactly what we did the game started both my teammates went straight to the left because there's three servitors on the map you kill the servitors, you get a time of 19 seconds, I believe, where you can just destroy him. It's like Time's Vengeance from Atheon. You can chain servitors. There's up to three servitors that you can chain. But once you break the servitor bond, which will, it'll say on your screen, the servitors just disappear. They're gone. You can't do that anymore. And that is most likely when your three control mines where you have to dismantle them pop up it's an objective that happens when skolos the kell of kells gets to about 50 percent health you have to go and complete that objective and note on the screen that i am poisoned and you do get poisoned when this happens guys you have to be very very careful because your poison timer is about 30 seconds now right now i'm immune because i was poisoned and one of my teammates took it from me so then there's an immune timer and while you're immune you cannot take the poison from one of your teammates it's like you're with your friends in the wilderness and a snake bites your friend in the ankle and you're like oh my god i gotta suck that shit out before you die and so you do it and then um that's about as far as i'm gonna go because you guys can compare the rest now, as you guys saw i got destroyed with the scorch cannon now a cool thing you guys can do is if you are gonna die no matter what try to have the person that has the poison die because then the other two people will not get poisoned for a little bit they'll get poisoned but they won't get poisoned for a little bit and when they do they can come and revive you and then you can swap poison but right now two people are dead and my brother is gonna go absolutely clutch that is my brother that's his gamer tag we both stream and we beatbox so come check our live stream out on twitch um or whatever you guys know the tko gaming will continue to make awesome videos for you guys uh, and yeah, we both are phenomenal players in my opinion now we may suck for you guys But and we both be box. But anyways, so um, I'm utilizing my blink strike uh, Staring in this guy's soul right now. I'm freaking scared because I have to clutch these diffuses and get this revive uh, and honestly guys utilizing the blade dancer we have the crouch invis we have the super invis we have um shadow jack which increases the duration we have the melee invis we have all the invis perks we have armor all the way up and i have agility all the way up 
I think that's a pretty good setup for Blade Dancers, guys. So if you guys um, need to hear that again, go ahead and rewind the video and check that out. Uh, the weapons I'm using is the Abyss Defiant, I believe that is called. Uh, it's solar. Uh, it's from the Crota's Raid. The secondary is the Black Hammer. Once again, Crota's Raid, solar. And the last one is the one and only 365 Gallahorn Ascended. Um, guys, you want to stay away from the middle of the map. Take my advice. I'm sure anyone will tell you this. Try to stay away from the middle of the map as much as you can. What we like to do in this is we like to time our, like I said before, our heavy ammo synthesis. And you want to just make laps around the map. You want to make laps around the map. Even if a player dies, do not panic. Because when you get to about here, Skolas is about to get to 10%. And when he gets to 10%, another objective pops up. Same thing. You have to defuse the mines, and the mines will be random. But if you have enough firepower, then you just destroy them, and then all the enemies disappear. And there you are, happy, dancing. Make sure you defuse these mines. If you don't defuse these mines, you will die. So that's about 10 sec. Oh, not 10 seconds. Sorry, 10% of his health left. I think I may have said that earlier in the video. I apologize. And 50%. So 50% of his health you get the uh, poison and the first objective and then 10 percent you get the second objective and then boom it's done there is no timer for enraged in this as far as i know um and yeah there you guys have it we were very very ecstatic that we got this done i hope you guys really you know get this done i hope this tutorial helps if you're being a hunter um just don't panic uh one thing we tried to do was we tried to save our a couple Gallahorns for the captains with Scorch Cannons. If not, I mean, you're a Blade Dancer, so one Arc Bolt Grenade will take out their Arc Shield and you just dis melt them with your Solar Weapon like the Abyss Defiant. But we were super, super excited. You guys will also be super excited and super satisfied when you guys get this done. And I really, really hope that, um, you know, you it, it happens for you guys. Now, I don't know for the world's first three hunters or not, but I haven't seen many people that got it done with three hunters. Uh, I personally do not care. So don't worry, guys. I'm not claiming anything. I don't care for the world's first, second, third, hundredth. I think this was a very good achievement for me and my brother. It's the first time I'm playing some major thing with my brother because he just got an Xbox and we'll be playing together. Super pumped about that. Um, just a reminder to you guys, we do have a PlayStation 4 that's collecting dust and we are giving it away at 10,000 YouTube subs. So if you guys, you know, want to subscribe, the button is there. Tell your friends, let's get to 10,000 and so I can give this damn PS4 away. Um, I'll be doing more giveaways as well keep you know if you pop into the twitch the twitch is getting some renovations gonna look super cool um we're looking for moderators if you guys want to be a moderator on the twitch stream uh we'll we're really gonna just pick people that are you know like to support the stream a lot we see a lot in there and yeah don't die when you get to this treasure room because my brother did that and we he gets a lot of teabagging but we're gonna be nice we're gonna teabag him and then we're gonna pick him up and we're all gonna go together to pick up that loot in this aladdin genie room where i just want to rub that lamp and get three wishes god damn it super excited guys i'm really pumped uh at the end of this video later on i'm gonna show you guys uh everything you get an armor core you get an etheric light you get uh, the shader, you get the ship, um, you get a whole bunch, you get the emblem, you get some really, really cool stuff. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. My hunter is looking absolutely cool. And I'm going to tell you guys some awesome, awesome things you can do to make this guy look even cooler, man. Oh my goodness. I got her benevolence, the sniper rifle of the queen. Um, my previous drops, I got her pistol. I just want to say, I don't know the exact name, but her pistol. I got her fusion rifle. Um, I got her, I can say some inappropriate things right now, but I'm not going to because there might be little kids watching this. But anyways, I'm super, super pumped. I've said that a million times, but there you guys have it. I hope this video helped. Once again, if you guys have any questions, post below wherever you're watching it on the forums, uh, here, just post below, uh, message me. I'm on Xbox. You can follow me. Uh, I love responding to you guys. I want to get more engaged with you guys. I want to stream more for you guys and all of that. So thank you guys so much, so much, so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. And good luck to all you guys and all your beautiful RNG loot that is soon to come. Take care. Peace.